This is Modern Homesteading. So I recently came across this old uh, artist rendition of uh, kind of the tools and life of a timber bucker. It's really interesting here. It, it shows uh, kind of the, some of the tools that they would have used back in the day. This guy worked in the forest industry and took the time to, to write this out and to, and to draw these uh, images uh, for posterity uh, to show what it was like. One of the key tools that they had uh, was a bucking wedge. You can see right here. These most of you guys are going to be familiar with. They're regular fallers wedges and can be had today. The bucking wedge has a very different shape. These are not so easy to find. I have been uh, watching on eBay and looking. I, I came across one the other day and the guy wanted like $110 for it. and It was just a single and usually you would have a pair. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make our own out of an old double bitted axe. You can see that axe shares that position there, that shape on the bottom. And what was it for? If you look in here in the picture closely, you can see that these were driven across wise. And what that did was it prevented the log from rolling onto the bucker or from rolling and splitting and destroying the wood. So maybe two or three of these were driven opposed to each other across uh, to prevent that, especially for the guy if he was cutting down downhill would prevent that from rolling on him. So I've got this old ax head. This is one that I dug up out of the ground at my granddad's shed. Uh, the last time I was there, I almost missed it, and I've looked it over, and it's just, it's a little bit too far gone uh, to, to restore, and I can uh, make some good use out of it. We're going to cut right down these lines here and make two of those step wedges. We'll drill some holes in it, uh, put them together, clean it all up, but this will be really nice. Also, in addition to that, if you look and see on here, and the expl explanation here gives, uh, tells that the, the bucker always had uh, kind of a short handled heavy sledge and look at the similarities between this one here this was uh, also my grandfather's I got out of the same shed that I found this axe and I just got done cleaning it up and it's an old true temper back when true, true temper meant, meant something uh, maul it's perfect for that it, it even looks just the same as the one in the picture with the shape it almost as if it could be the same hammer so this will be uh, a combination the set uh, the wedge driver and the wedges. So here's the two step wedges. Cut pretty close to the eye there. You can see the remaining pieces. These are maybe just a, a little bit smaller than I would like, but uh, I'll have several pair of them as I go to garage sales, I'll find an old axe that's longer than this and make another set, but uh, these are be just fine. So let's clean them up, drill some ho holes, hook them together as a hanging pair, and and end. So if you want to set a bucking wedges, an old double bitted, double bitted axe, that really works great. Little holes there, chamfered edges, got them connected with a piece of rope. I don't know the right distance on that, I'll have to use it for a while, but just guess with that a little bit long. Maybe a little bit bigger axe uh, would be a little bit better, but I think that these are great. You can see now why I didn't restore this axe. Look at the pitting on it. It's just too far gone. It was in the dirt, buried. I only found it by chance, but uh, very nice. These will work great. So this will be the, it's kind of a little set here. This will be the hammer, granddad's old maul. I don't, I don't, can't tell if that's a T or a, you know, I almost thought it was a seven for a minute, but I don't think this is seven pounds. I doubt it, I'll weigh it, double check, but uh, what a cool maul this is. So I'm gonna make a handle for it a short handle 
haven't decided yet, 26, 28, somewhere around there, and hang the head. It's such a joy restoring these old tools, and uh, double so when they have um, some significance, when they uh, belong to my grandfather or their family tools. They really uh, mean a lot to me. I'm so glad that I have as many as I do. I just wish that uh, Granddad was still here, that I could show him. It would be fun to uh, all of his tools that I've restored and made handles for to, to bring, bring it back to him and show him. I know he would have been very proud and would have enjoyed that. But um, so goes life. Did you click a thumbs up? Please do. Uh, that's how you can support the channel. Uh, if you can take a moment to do that. It's very simple. Costs nothing. And um, I appreciate it. So that's how you can support the channel. What else? The hammer video. Actually have the video done. Um, as soon as I upload this, uh, I'll go into post-production with it and get that up too. That turned out really great and uh, really happy with that. So that will show up here very soon. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.